All right, we're here with uh, Lonnie Pryor, Tampa Bay Buccaneer and uh, former Florida State Seminole great. How you doing, Lonnie? I'm doing good, man. Happy to be here. All right, man. Uh, so tell me a little bit. Uh, tell me a little bit about yourself. How uh, how you first came up from uh, Okeechobee, Florida, right? Yeah, Okeechobee. I'm um, coming from a small town. You know, everyone's dream is to get out of there. And uh, my goal was always to go to Florida State. You know, and try to be. My goal was to be the best running back, but hopefully well, they moved me to fullback, so it didn't work out that way. But um, now I'm in the NFL. Dream come true. Um, still got a lot of work to do, but um, not not everywhere. Everyone is is where I'm at now, so I'm happy for that. Absolutely, man. Congratulations to you. How are uh, so Okeechobee just a football town, pretty much? Um, no, it's like a small cattle town. Um, everyone loves football, but the football team hasn't been that good since I left. So, like, five years hasn't, hasn't been doing that good. So, you carried the team on your back pretty much? <laughs> well, I had me and some other players, so it wasn't just me. But ever since my class, ever since class I not left, it hasn't been where it's been. But I think in a couple of years it'll get back there. But um, everyone loves football there. It's a small cattle town. Um, I'm real country if y'all don't know me, but um, I like hunting, and that's where it all kind of come from is from Okeechobee. Nice, nice. How was uh, today's actually the uh, National Signing Day? I'm sure you've been keeping track of that with uh, FSU. How was uh, how was that day? Whenever you you signed with uh, Florida State? Oh man, it was a dream come true. Um, I committed a long time ago. Um, going into my senior year, I already knew I wanted to go to Florida State, so I committed. But the signing day was kind of cool. Um, Beef or Brady's is like the biggest place we have to eat. <laughs> actually, we just got an Applebee's, so I guess that's the biggest place to eat now. But um, Brief Old Babies was the best place to go, and um, I did my signing day party there, and uh, it was crazy. You had like line out the door, people just wanted to come and sign and take pictures. So uh, it's a day that I'll never forget. All my friends were there, all my high school coaches, my dad, everyone was there. So it was good to do it there for the whole town to come out and see. And all four years was it? Yeah, all four yeah. years. Started as a true freshman. Um, one of the fullbacks got hurt. Um, I think it was the f second game. I think we played BYU. And the fullback got hurt and they threw me in and ever since then um i was playing fullback but the day they told me at practice to focus more on fullback i almost cried but it was oh man it was crazy man like i was at practice and the running back coach is like hey let try fullback play i was like <laughs> all right i'll do that yeah so i get down there run a play then i was like oh that was cool they like tell me you told me to do it again then he pulled me to the side. He was like, Lonnie, just focus on fullback. And I almost wanted to cry, but All I right. came home and cried that night. And uh, I talked to Jimbo, then my high school coach, for like an hour. So we, it, all, it all worked out for the best. Though. Yeah, yeah, definitely, man. <laughs> definitely. Uh, I mean, you had some big games. You had some big games running the ball, too. Uh, senior year, MVP of the Orange Bowl. Yeah, man, that's a dream come true. I never thought it worked out that way. And, um, you know, that was my last game, and everyone wants to end their season or end their mm -hmm. career somewhere, like a game like that. And uh, it worked out pretty great, man. Uh, through what it was like, you know, hear all those names being called, not hear your um, name through the uh, – For the next the guys going through the draft, um, it's probably the worst feeling ever. Um, three days, you're just sitting there waiting for your name to be called, you know, I was at my mom's house, so you got your whole family there, yeah. you know, everyone's dream, you know, every college player is to hear their name get called on draft day, and um, it didn't happen for me, but uh, other than that, it didn't bother me, and I always look at, everything happens for a reason, and um, that's the way I look at things, and right. the way I didn't get drafted, you know, just makes me want to work harder, but um, it was tough, but um, like I said, it all worked out for the best, you know, I started with the Jaguars, now I got a new place in Tampa, and uh, we got a whole new coaching staff, so hopefully things work out. What was it like that day whenever you found out the uh, the Bucks claimed you off off waivers, right? Yeah, um, it was it was crazy. You know, I, I think it was uh, on a Monday, so we uh, went in, watched film, and my agent called me because they don't they don't go through me. Yeah, they go through your whole agent. Then my agent called, and he was like, "Um, oh, money, you want to go to Tampa?" I was like, "Yeah, why not? If I'm out of chance to play, so." Um, you know, Jacksonville also tried to back up the offer and everything, but like I said, I felt like I had a better chance to get more playing time in Tampa. So I went to Tampa and uh, signed a two-year contract there. So nice. that's my new home. From now, how would you how would you want to see yourself? Like summing up your your career and post career, what what you want to be doing? Uh, well, when I went to Florida State, my goal was always to be the best fullback that I ever played at Florida State, or just in general. And um, I think I did that. It's a lot of great fullbacks that played at Florida State, and that's what ahead of me. And um, same thing at, in the, at the next level, NFL, you know, be a great player. And I um, know I'm playing fullback. Not too many people know the fullback or they rarely use them. So that's my, my whole goal is, you know, whatever team I play for, they just remember that Lonnie Pryor was one of the best fullbacks that ever played the game. But that's my Congratulations goal. once again to you. I'm sure you'll be there in no time, and uh, thank you very much, man. I uh, appreciate, appreciate it. Appreciate it. Yeah.